Hi folks, this is the last in my recent crop of uh, Taylor's Eyewitness Knives. But I just wanted to show you this because it's I, I think it's sort of interesting, if not necessarily very special. This is, if you like, their standard lamb's foot knife. By standard, I mean something that costs £21. Um, as opposed to the a lamb's foot that costs uh, north of a hundred pounds but it's the same pattern i suspect it's also the same steel what it isn't is um beautiful bit of desert ironwood or amboina burl this is a bit of, I think it says it's rosewood. I don't know if it's if it is rosewood or whatever. But you can see in terms of uh, shape and style, this is the same shape of blade, the same shape of bolster, the same shape of handle, the same kind of general method of construction. Uh, I should point out, and, and I don't know if I did when I was doing the others, these um, swaybacks have steel um, liners as well as um, the, the steel springs. I think the nickel silver bolsters. Well, this one maybe the this one this one maybe stainless steel, but this is the basic version, and and you can see the difference. There's there's a basic satin finish to the blade. Um, it's funny enough. Even the nail nick seems to be just that little bit more crudely done. The tang stamp. Is a little bit squint, uh, not quite as distinct. Certainly, it's not done with that same level of care. You've got the sort of satin finish to the bolsters. You've got uh, slightly more hit and miss uh, to the uh, spring fitting there to the liners, and it's these are hand finished in in the in exactly the same way but they're not hand finished to the same standard you know they look like they've been hammered together quickly and then quickly uh, thrown across the linisher to give them a, a basic level of finish but what i would say is it's actually quite a nice quality knife considering the price i think the wood and the treatment of the wood could possibly have been a little bit better i mean one uh, direct comparator to this uh, from Arthur Wright is their farmer's knife which is uh, you know a similar similar pattern it's a slightly different it's theirs as opposed to um, the uh, totes I witness this is supposed to be a slightly more robust version it's got a slightly broader blade they do want they do a lamb's foot which is more similar to this but I just don't happen to have one but the real difference is that bit of wood there is mu is rather nicer, although the profile of it is is quite thin, so there's less of it. But I I think um, they made a slightly better job of that and a slightly better job of the finish actually on the blade. These are similar price knives. I think this one was twenty three pounds and this one was twenty one pounds. So um, of course these come blunt. You have to sharpen them, and this is um, C seventy or something like that, carbon steel. Whereas uh, this is stainless steel. But they're both, these are all hand finished in Sheffield, handmade in Sheffield. So if you can't afford one of these or you, you want to carry a knife and get it a bit, get down and dirty with it, nothing wrong with this. So I just bought it because I wanted to see what the quality of their basic blades was like. And I was actually quite impressed. Um, you know, you could maybe give that a bit of uh, attention a little bit of oil, a little bit of rubbing down just to make it nice and smooth and it would probably uh, uh, improve it quite a bit. What you would never, I don't think you're ever going to get that up to the, the standard of one of these things apart from anything else because you know, this is really nice desert ironwood and this is, mm, let's see, I think it's supposed to be rosewood but mm. it's not the best quality wood in the world obviously. But what do you expect for the price? The finish is is rough all round actually. I mean the the finish inside that liner there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's all a bit rough and ready as well. But uh, I was I was pleasantly surprised actually by this. You, you know it's a perfectly good usable knife. 
And if you just want a knife to use, then this is as good as one of the desert iron wood ones. But um, if you want one that's going to look good, uh, fit in the collection as well, maybe it's uh, not quite up to standard. Anyway, just thought I'd let you have a little look at that. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you like it, please give it a wee thumbs up. If you want to see more of this stuff, then um, please subscribe. I don't have any more ta Taylor's Eyewitness uh, knives coming up shortly, but um, uh, I dare say there will be eventually because he j I just can't get enough of these things. I'm interested to get one of their um, basic barlows. Unfortunately, there's no one in stock or I'd have got one at the same time because I'd just uh, i like to be able to compare uh, the barlow with their um, premier class barlows as well. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. See you all again soon.